Dear learners, welcome to the NIOS. And today we are discussing atmospheric pressure. We are going to learn that what is the understanding of atmospheric pressure? How does it differentiate from point to point? And how does it imply over to the life of us? First of all, we will be demonstrating an activity and try to explain that why this phenomenon actually appears. So, we took a glass of water where we implied a certain level of water in it. And here, I am having a simple cardboard. So, when I put this cardboard and try to invert this glass over to this cardboard, you can see the phenomenon that the cardboard hold it tight. Why does it happen? Now, through this diagram, we try to explain the atmospheric pressure that was acting in the upward direction balances the downward force of the water acting on the cardboard. Therefore, the cardboard remains in the position. Now, what is this atmospheric pressure? We already know that the earth is surrounded by an atmosphere up till a height of 200 kilometers. And this atmosphere is made up of the combination of different gases. Therefore, the pressure exerted by the atmosphere is known as atmospheric pressure. In the diagram, you can see the atmosphere is implying a pressure over to the ground, which is labeled by the green color. And if we people or any object on the ground is lying, then yes, the atmosphere is implying a pressure on that particular thing also. Next, moving to the slide here, which demonstrates that there is a spherical object which is hollow from inside and a vacuum has been generated by making every amount of gas which was present in the hollow sphere out. And on both the sides, we imply a certain amount of forces tied with that particular sphere. Even if the horses are having a very good strength, then also they are not able to open up that particular sphere in which a vacuum is generated. This is the amount of pressure that is exerted. Now you can analyze that what would be the amount of great strength the atmosphere pressure exerts. Atmospheric pressure is the force per unit area exerted on the surface by the weight of air above the surface in the atmosphere or another planet if atmosphere exists on that particular planet. In most circumstances, the atmospheric pressure is closely approximated by the hydrostatic pressure which is caused by the weight of the air above the measurement point. How to analyze this thing? This was demonstrated by this particular experiment. As you can see, a glass is filled with water and a straw is inserted inside that particular water. The atmosphere imply the pressure on the upper side of the water which is placed inside the glass. And that particular pressure makes the liquid which is being pushed up the straw from the lower bottom. Through this method only, we use different types of pipes in our daily household uses also. The water reaches up till a certain level by using this method only. And it varies from one to the other altitude. The elevation increases, there is less overlying atmospheric mass so that the atmospheric pressure decreases with the increasing elevation. Through this graph, we want to show that if the height increases, which is on the x-axis, which is given in the terms of kilometer and the pressure on the y-axis given by the Pascal unit, as such the height increases, the pressure decreases with the exponential drop. And this drop shows that with the rise in the height or the altitude, the atmospheric pressure decreases. As you can see, the maximum pressure that has been denoted over here is given by 1013.25. That is the most ideal pressure which is exerted on this planet. Now, through this table, we can see the first column 
is giving you the results of the altitude above the sea level but in the feet. The second column shows the barometer reading of the mercury in inches and the last is the atmospheric pressure. Now if you look that if we are working on the sea level, the sea level is having the zero height. So the atmospheric pressure is given by 14.7 and the barometer reading shows 29.92. As we increase the height above the sea level to 1000 feet, it decreases to 28.8 in the barometer reading and the approximate atmospheric pressure is 14.2. As such, we start increasing the height from the sea level and goes to 10,000 feet. Then the barometer reading decreases 20.4 and the atmospheric pressure in pounds per square inches goes down by 10. Now, through this table, it is easy to demonstrate that if the height increases, the atmospheric pressure decreases. This is a basic reason that at the altitude, the nose starts bleeding for some mountaineers. Because the pressure is much lower than that of a blood pressure, due to which the blood pressure do exerts out the amount of blood from the body and it comes out of the nose. Next, we can see that what would be the standard atmosphere, which is given by the symbol ATM, small letters. It is a unit of pressure which is defined by 101.325 Pascal or in other units given by the millibar or the height pressure. But it would be easy for us to denote it in Pascals only. Now, this was the experiment which was done or performed by Torricelli. In this particular experiment, the lower bottom of the chart is filled by mercury. Mercury is one of the highest density amount of metal, which is in the liquid form at room temperature. And when an inverted test tube is inserted in that particular jar, then the rise of the mercury takes place. Here we need to emphasize that this test tube is particularly having a vacuum, means there should be no amount of air inside the test tube. And when this experiment was conducted, the height rises till 76 cm. It was demonstrated again and again by different method having different test tubes, but the level was same. Therefore, it comes into understanding that if this particular height is only the basic height that is rising, above which the mercury is not rising, means it is counterbalancing the atmospheric pressure. If it is counterbalancing the atmospheric pressure and by using the method, we imply that the quantities should be known of the variables, that is the height, which is 76 centimeter, the density of the liquid, which is given by 13,600 kilogram per meter cube and we can see the gravity which is implied in the terms of 9.8 meter per second square. Therefore, the pressure comes out to be 1.01 .01 into 10 to the power 5 pascals or can say Newton per meter square. This is the amount of pressure that is exerted by the atmosphere on this particular planet. Till now, we had understood that what is atmospheric pressure. Thank you.